What if a dog takes paracetamol without a veterinary prescription? In a short time, symptoms of paracetamol poisoning will begin to appear in the dog, such as the following. Salivation, sickness, vomiting, weakness, lack of appetite and anorexia, apathy, depression, pain in the abdomen, trouble breathing, liver damage, which will be seen in blood tests or even externally as a lump in the abdomen due to severe inflammation of this organ. If we have given this medicine to our furry, even if it is in the dose that the veterinarian has said, or we suspect that he has been able to ingest it on his own and one or more of these symptoms appear it is necessary to go to veterinary emergencies. This drug and erroneous doses in dogs begins by causing serious damage to the liver, then hemolysis or destruction of red blood cells or red blood cells occurs causing residues of this destruction such as hemoglobin and other substances such as bile, to accumulate in the body so that jaundice or mucous membranes and yellowish skin occurs. In addition, there is also blood in the urine due to the hemoglobin release by destroying the red blood cells. The specialist will decide in each case how it is better to proceed, can cause vomiting, provide an antidote that reduces the mentioned damages, give fluid therapy and oxygen therapy so that the body can eliminate this product faster or even perform a blood transfusion. If the case is serious, if it is not acted on time, the dog can die. What can be given to a dog with pain? Apt painkillers knowing this about paracetamol. It is normal for you to ask yourself what can I give my dog for pain? The truth is that there are various analgesics suitable for dogs, but none can give it to your dog without advice from the veterinarian. Thus, all of them should always be prescribed by a veterinarian indicating the dose, frequency, and duration of their use in each case, and you never have to medicate on your own, even if they are over-the-counter medications. These are some dog-friendly pain relievers that the veterinarian can prescribe alpha agonists. They are potent painkillers and some examples of this type are detomidine, xylazine, metatomidine and romifidine. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are NSAIDs. They are anti-inflammatory, analgesic and some, even antipyretic. Among them is paracetamol, meloxicam. Acetyl salicylic acid, well known by the name of aspirin, ketoprofen and sodium diaper 1 are metamizal. Opioids, analgesics that work best in dogs are considered. Some examples are butorphanol, morphine and hydromorphine. Precautions to avoid paracetamol poisoning in dogs The first advice regarding the prevention of paracetamol poisoning in dogs is that you do not give it on your own. Even if you follow the instructions that the veterinarian has given you sometimes because this time, depending on what happens to your dog, the dose or frequency is different and the risks exist the same. Thus there are some precautions to avoid drug poisoning in dogs and what to do if it happens. Only give medication exactly how and when the veterinarian indicates it and never what seems to us.